Make sure, first of all, that you've got the latest copy of iTunes. I'm using 11.1. .1. Dismantle your power cable and connect the computer to your iPad. Now we're looking at iTunes, and here are all the components that are in iTunes on your computer. We're looking at your computer now. Over here, uh, this button takes you to the store where you can purchase things. Now we're back in the library, looking at your material. Now that we're connected, we can see over here that there are actually two devices, my iPhone and my iPad. So we'll click here to reveal them. There's my iPhone. I'll click on the iPad. Now we're looking at what's in the iPad. First thing to do is click this button on, sync this pad of iPad over Wi-Fi. You only need to do that once. Once you've got this switched on, you'll be able to dispense with a cable and you can synchronise or it'll happen automatically. If you want to force or tell the iPad to sync, you go to settings in the iPad, click on sync now. If it doesn't show up on the iTunes window, you might need to close win uh, iTunes and or shut down the power on the iPad. Now we're back in the iPad window and you can see along the top here that there are the various sections on the iPad and you can open up each one of those and manage how they work. We're going to have a look at the photos section now. When you see the photos collection you first of all have to check that it is going to download photos from which particular folder. So if you're using a PC it'll be Photoshop Elements or some other program. You then decide whether to get all the photos or just selected ones and I'm assuming you're going for selected. So in this case you see all of the photos that are in the computer and you just tick the boxes for the ones that you want to go onto the iPad. Once you've done that uh, and the synchronize is switched on, well then they'll all be transferred across or they'll be updated. You do similar things for the other sections in iTunes.